Hello friends, welcome to the show. You might want to brace yourself because today we are talking about my favorite Pixar movie, which means it's time to get emotional. <laughs> Oops, too much. The creative characters and tender storyline teach us a lot about the inner workings of a person's mind. No wonder it took a while to come up with this perfect emotional roller coaster. I'm your host, Ruby J, and today we're talking about what they got right with Inside Out. Happy said man, I'm emotional tonight. We talking inside out. This is what they got right. Inside Out tells the story of Riley dealing with a big family move through the eyes of her core emotions, anger, fear, sadness, disgust, and joy. But those weren't always the only emotions in the movie. There was also surprise. Surprise felt a little too similar to fear, so they ended up mixing that idea. I mean, haven't you ever had a surprise party where it felt a little bit more frightening than exciting? A bunch of friends jumping out from behind places unexpectedly? Yeah, kind of alarming. Other emotions that were going to be in the film were pride, love, envy, greed, gloom, guilt, hope, irritation, shame, embarrassment, schadenfreude, and ennui. And if you don't know what those last two are, ask a psychologist. At one point, there were 27 different emotions in the film. They trimmed it down to five because it was just too complicated. But really, we think it was because none of them wanted to be around anger when he blew his top. Speaking of characters, Bing Bong is one of the best in the whole movie. But he wasn't always Riley's only imaginary friend. Others included a stick figure named Mrs. Scribbles and a drawing of a sun that Riley made on the corner of a piece of paper named Corner Sun. They all lived together in a place called Hobo Camp. They eventually simplified the imaginary friends to just Bing Bong, which is a good thing because I don't think I could handle Bing Bong, Corner Sun, and Mrs. Scribbles disappearing in the memory dump. Corner Sun, no! In an earlier version of Inside Out, Joy had the ability to appear in the real world. And in another version, Riley was transported into her own mind so that she could talk to her own feelings. Though that sounds fun, I'm glad they went with the story that we got. Plus, I don't think that Anger and Riley would have gotten along too well. Most of Inside Out follows the adventures of Joy and Sadness through Riley's mind. But the original pair was going to be Joy and Fear because, according to Pixar, it was the funniest team. They ended up going with Joy and Sadness because it made for the better story. But we think it's really because they thought being the lead in the movie would cheer Sadness up. <gasps> it worked! Inside Out story went through a ton of changes before getting to the amazing movie we know and love. But we're glad Pixar put so much hard work in because it gave us one of their best movies. Thanks for watching What They Got Right. What should I talk about next? Let me know below with a comment. Then click up there to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every single day. Until next time, it's time to figure out what schadenfreude means. Oh my gosh! A bird pooped on my dad's car! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but that's hilarious.